What's up, YouTube and all my baby babies? It's your girl, we're secrets coming at you with another video. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend that we are what? We are lit over here. And without further ado, y'all, um, I asked a question and y'all gave it to me straight. Y'all told me y'all wanted me to do a tutorial of how I did these beauties right here. Excuse the ashiness, y'all, but yes so i'm going to do a tutorial and um i'll link this down below i purchased this little um beauty off of amazon and i have my paint all right here you can purchase these from walmart so we're just gonna you know get the aesthetics going so i want to put all of my tools that i'm going to be using right here and as y'all can see i'm at my nail table and um, hold on, let me make sure that it's not too junky, y'all, because I got a lot of nail stuff. So as you can see, I have five colors. So we're going to be using the exact same colors. Everything I use on my nails, we're going to be using on this nail right here. Um, also got my dotting tools and the brush I use for my lines and some acetone to dip my brush in there. Y'all, because when people be doing people's nails and they be dipping this brush in their mouth, oh my gosh, that just, that works my nerves. Because that's like, basically you're putting your saliva on my hands. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I'm not about to vent. But <laughs> if that's a pet peeve of yours, like, do you say anything when you're getting your nails done and the people, they do that? Like, I feel like that is so disgusting. So, y'all, I purchased these. I want to say I purchased... All of these polishes from Walmart. So I'm going to walk you through it as far as the process. So I want to, okay, there we go. So when you're doing this, there's no right or wrong way. Um, basically, it just depends on what you're going for. Me, I picked five colors because y'all know I'm extra, super extra, extra, read all about it that's me so you know it's all about placement of where you want to place your colors remember there's no right or wrong way I hope y'all can see I'm trying to make sure I'm in view because y'all know sometimes I'll be out of view um, the colors can mix if you want them to they don't have to touch it really doesn't matter So you just want to take your time and with these lighter colors you may have to go over them like twice just to you know make sure they're bright enough so with certain light colors you know you have to maybe do two or three coats but make sure they do dry um, but for this purpose of the video I'm not gonna you know go over them with many coats because I'm gonna have to wait for them to dry and all that that and this, this and that. And remember, you don't have to do five colors. You could do two colors if you want, or one, or, you know. I don't know if y'all heard my phone vibrate. If so, yeah, that was Nana Rare. Because y'all know Mama Rare be calling me. But I got Nana Rare. She let me know she made it home safely. Shout out to my Nana. Love you, girl. And as you can see, like in my own nails, I do have like some spaces, you know, where there's not paint and stuff like that. So they don't always have to have, you know, paint.
So as you can see, the color coordination is the same. Same color coordination, just a different placement. Um, so while this is drying a little bit, I'm gonna fan this back and forth so it can dry. Um, I don't know if these are fast drying. I don't know, but I'm gonna just fan this nail onto the side. And I'll mention the colors. So this one we have by LA Colors. This is in the color Energy. I don't know if it's coming out, but Energy. We have this one. It's in the color of One Love by Color Club. And remember, all of these I purchased from Walmart. Um, this is in the color of Honor. Uh, this beautiful neon color is in yelling yellow and this pink color I want to say I got this from beauty salon store this is from ruby kisses or ruby kiss and this is in the color of hot pink obsession so we're gonna let this dry a little bit so the next thing we're going to be getting into um hmm. I need something to put these colors on. I think maybe I should have thought about that before I started. Okay, hold on, I got a box, y'all. Get this off. I'm about to use these gloves. Use the right there. But it might be a little dry now. Connect that back right there. So when it comes to the color, y'all, um, the color, let me undo the acetone. It just depends on how many colors you want to use. Some people go with the traditional route, which is only the black and white. That's fine. Um, but me, when I did this set, I said, hey, you know, I want to add the traditional colors but i also want to give it a bright like i wanted to be like a bright flamingo or like a peacock <laughs> that was probably the worst al pacino impression ever y'all that's off of scarface but anyway i wanted to be like a bright colorful boat a bright colorful colorful oh peter piper picked the pepper i want to be like a colorful bird and so i told myself hey we're going to pick some bright colors, not too many, because you don't want to get overwhelmed. Because when you get overwhelmed, you're trying to find yourself trying to match the colors. Remember, when you're doing anything that a design, your eyebrows, your makeup, they're not supposed to be identical. They're supposed to look like family. They're supposed to look related. So, you know, I told myself, hey, I want them to look bright, but I also want them to still unify. So even though I picked these bright colors, I still want it to... You know show my line work now when i mean line work is these lines hope y'all can see that these lines and with lines it comes with a lot of practice because some days my lines are a little chunky how they are now and some of them they sharp to the t like a iron sword but it just come with practice uh, me y'all know i got my little situation with my health so it affects my hand coordination so if you don't have like a steady hand sometimes my hands shake kind of like in a trembling way but we work through it so regardless if you have a steady hand or not you have to practice practice makes perfect it's all about hand placement you want to make sure how you're placing your hand just for an example when i do my hand like this i rest my pinky right here so because if you do it like this you're going to find yourself over there over there well you go you need that placement put that pinky right there or I don't know some people are righty lefty you know just find a placement and you want to use that pinky use that pinky like say if i want to go over this right here you you know use that it's just kind of like when you're drawing or writing you just want to use that pinky for stability to kind of lean on but you know put your weight on but you know do it easily So first we're going to do a little blue, just a little. So yeah, I'm gonna hold on, I'm trying to find a way to hold this. 
so you're going to take this this is in it says medium i'll try to link this down below because i got what was it three yeah three from amazon so you just want to make sure you know you dip it in acetone if you still want to dip it in your mouth and whatever you just want to make sure the brussels is put together and you want to dip it don't dip it too much just enough you know get comfortable you might you know see a little ball So what you want to do is, so y'all see I put my pinky right there. You just want to make a line. Then you want to, you know, bring that line right there and just, you know, work with it. And there's no right or wrong way. Let me see. I'm trying to make sure y'all this is. You want to just make a line and just go with the flow. Hold on, y'all, because this is not coming out how I want it to come out. Okay, there we go. Y I'm trying to make sure it auto focus. So you just want to make your lines. My phone acting real ignorant right now. Like, come on, just focus. So you just want to make your lines. Uh, it's up to you on how many lines you want to make. You just want to. You know, sometimes you. I don't know why my phone is going in and out of focus, y'all. Okay. Then you probably want to make a swirl like that. And next, hold on, y'all. I got this brush. I'm trying to multitask. So I'm going to dip this in the acetone. You want to make sure you clean your brush. And also before you do your line work, you want to make sure your paint is completely dry. One way to figure out if your uh, paint is completely dry, take your nails and clack them together. If they stick, that means they're not dry yet. If they're just like butter, that means you're ready because you will mess up your paint. And you don't want to mess up the process. So, you know, you don't want stuff to start running together so definitely make sure your paint is dry and when you're picking colors do not pick, pick the same colors that you use as your main color either pick darker or lighter not the same because they're just going to blend in it's going to look pointless so like even though i pick this pink this is a lighter pink and then you just do some line work you know get jiggy with it And you know, the line work, it will come. It takes practice, so don't get discouraged. Just know, practice. I don't know if I showed the colors, but we have these colors these are the acrylic paints um i'll definitely try to link these down below you can purchase these at walmart 
and with those ones you kind of got to work fast because they do dry very quickly as you can see it says quick drive quick driving <laughs> quick drying so you definitely want to work quickly when making a line but with lines is so you know you don't have to work too quick because you're just making your line and once it dry unless you don't like it then you can fix it but Uh-oh, I accidentally mixed this up. No! Next color is this purple iris. So with this one, you don't want to put the same color, like you want to kind of move it about. Make sure you're getting enough color on each part of the nail. You know just try to get comfortable you know do squiggly lines maybe just do some lines right there the easiest ones to do is probably just the just like those just the downward or sideways lines And just, you know, work your space. No matter if the nails are short or long, you want to, you know, just make sure each color is being represented in the nail. So you kind of want to work each wall of the nail. Make sure you got a little bit of purple everywhere. So that's that one. So we got three colors left. And some might say, well, that's more than enough. You could stop right here if you want to, but I, I want to do kind of a same how I did my nails. So I'm using every color I use on my nails. And also make sure you shake these up before you use them because they will come out watery like ketchup. <laughs> you know, when you don't shake your ketchup up and you go to squeeze the ketchup and it be all watery and oh, that's the worst. So we're going to take this green. And as you can see, even though I have green right here, this green is lighter. Now, I wouldn't put it on this one because as you can see, it's kind of like neck and neck. So I'm not even going to waste my time putting it on that side. Remember, we're just making lines. Overlap them, but just make sure it's dry.
Now me, I didn't put any white lines, only use white dots. So you always wanna do your dots last, always. That's just a rule that I work by, a golden rule. So always do your dots last. So as you can see, the black kind of sets it off. So you want to do a little bit of black line, nothing major, because you don't want to cover up your work. So maybe just a line. Hold on, I want to make sure I don't put too much. You know, just maybe a line right there. I could have left the black out, but I just wanted to, you know, I had the black get a little, you know, extraness to it. I think that's enough for that color. So I could have left the black out, but I didn't want to. So with the dotters, it's up to you if you want big dots or small dots. Me, I always take the big one and I just use it to, you know, make the dot. But I think I'm going to just use the medium with this one. So I'm going to take that same paint on here. Hold on, y'all. I got some hair on my nail. Okay, so you just take the dotter. Let me move this up real quick. You just swivel it, swivel it in the paint. And you're going to just, you know, lightly do dots. And then you can leave it like that. And then you can take the small side. It's easy to have the double sided ones because they usually have more than one side or size. And you can kind of go neck and neck with the black dots. Let me move this because I do not want to make a mess. So as you can see, like, no, it's not going to come out the same, but it is similar. Come on, focus. <laughs> I don't know why this is not focusing. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, it's similar. Now, mines do have a shine to it because I have polish on mines and clear polish. And the colors are a little brighter because I did go over them. 
three times. So you wanna make sure this is completely dry, which it's not. So I'll come back with the finished product. One moment, we'll be back. All right, y'all, so I'm back. Um, so lately I've been using this Sally Hansen Dries Instantly Top Coat. Um, it gives it a nice shine and it does last very, very long. I purchased this from CVS. Um, definitely, if you have rewards, I want to say when I purchased this, it was like buy one, get one free. So, yeah. So, hopefully this is dry. You just want to, you know. Ooh. I don't think the one part was dry, but it's okay. Oh, and this is sticking. Hold on. Hold up. We don't do this the right way. We don't do it at all. There we go. You know, this is not how I really polish. It's just, <laughs> I'm trying to be gentle. So there we go. That's the finished look. Make sure white is getting this. So definitely similar, but not, not identical. So y'all, I hope y'all found this video very useful. Um, this is definitely not going to be the last of videos for nails. There we go. Close up, close up. And remember everybody do theirs, you know, the way that they do theirs. No right or wrong way. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Definitely look down below in the, um, the links below. I'll try to link everything I use down below. Oh, I think I did a pretty good job. I did pretty decent. I might as well save myself. So I hope you enjoy the video and I will definitely see you on the next one. Bye.